Okay, 368, largest, dis largest divisible subset. Uh, given a set of distinct positive integers, find the largest subset such that every pair S sub i and S sub j of elements in this subset satisfy S sub i uh, mod S sub j is equal to 0, or S sub j mod S sub i is equal to 0. If there are multiple solutions, returning uh, return any subset is fine. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, give it a 1, 2, and 1, 3, because uh, 2 and 3 are relatively prime to each other, right? So you basically want... <coughs> Uh, uh, a set in which kind of, I don't know how to phrase it in the mathematically way, mathematically way, uh, precisely, but uh, you want uh, the largest set such that all the numbers are, uh, are factors of other numbers in the set. Yes. Uh, and I think this, hmm, Trying to think if it's worth sorting or do we, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth sorting. So I think the first thing I would do is sort uh, to give the problem some structure. I mean, I think some of this is intuition and maybe I could articulate it a little bit better. Uh, I think the first thing is that, um, so my, ooh, whoops, my soda popped. But, uh, huh, that made that's really going to pop. Anyway, uh, so the first thing I would do is, um, uh, uh, kind of sort to create structure in the problem, uh, uh, the, in, the intuition I have is that uh, you want to go from you, you want to create these subsets from smaller to bigger, uh, and uh, and in this case you actually need to create the output. I mean, because uh, you could also imagine a similar variant of the problem in which you only need the number, then you don't need to. Uh, but I think this actually is just uh, the longest path, uh, the longest path in the DAG, uh, and as long as you sort. Um, and sorting creates this kind of uh, um, uh, 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 easier to digest uh, uh, directedness of the graph, so that uh, you can kind of create longest uh, 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 longest path in a graph in um, you know what you might call it uh, in basically with dynamic programming, uh, and that gives you n square time. I don't know if that's fast enough, depending on how they phrase it, but that's what I'm with. I mean. So the sorting, it actually gets dominated by that anyway. Um, and there are things you can do to make longest path, uh, 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 yeah, longest path in a DAG one faster than n square. Uh, we may or may not explore that uh, depending on kind of the constraints. I'm going to just do the naive one first uh, and fix sub diagram. And if not, then we'll kind of create the uh, explicit graph a little bit to kind of speed things up, even though sometimes it might not work depending on how dense the graph is. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, first of all, we'll sort. Um, I always I always mix sort and sorted and all those things in five fonts. I'm just double checking. Uh, okay, I see. Uh, I think I'll do this, right? Okay, well, I mean, okay, I gave it a sorted input, so that actually might not mean anything. Let's test this real quick. Um, okay, so that that looks okay. Cool. All right, so now that we have sorted, we... Um, and one thing to know is that uh, in dynamic programming, sometimes you don't need to kind of re reconstruct the path. But in this case, you do, so we, we need to create a little bit of structure before that, so that's fine, though. Uh, and maybe we, maybe we could also clean it up later with, um, with in theory, more classes and stuff, which we'll talk about later. But... Uh, How do I? Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. I always can get confused about X range. Uh, uh, uh. 
off by one or something like that. So I'm just double checking now before I deep in, dig into a little bit deeper. But okay, so this seems okay. Um, Uh, previous that's negative one, longest that's equal to one. Uh, yeah, okay, let's just print this for now. I'm being a little slow and deliberate right now, but I definitely need to kind of show up my uh, understanding of the APIs, to be honest, or like just not understanding, but from from literally, I it's been a while, and I need to kind of practice a little bit, uh, uh, maybe at some point do more streams. Uh, but uh, okay, that looks good. Um, okay, so actually, I guess we don't need to set it up. But um, wait, is it a long as hanging about? Hmm. Yeah, because yeah. So I think one thing that I I don't uh, I think I jumped a little bit ahead is that um, if x mod b is zero, then like let's say uh, I think I jumped ahead a little bit. Uh, I think if there's a thing where like if x mod b is zero zero, right? Then if there's a a, a, a c that mod a is zero zero there's a, a, a sort of a transitive property, uh, and that's kind of why uh, this kind of works. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I just needed to point out that transitive property of modding, uh, because in this case, this implies that C also uh, uh, mod P is zero, 0 as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, and it, it, in, in, it, because we sorted it beforehand, uh, it can only go one way, right? Uh, uh, as I know that in the problem statement, it, it in theory goes either way, but uh, uh, but because we uh, create that structure where, you know, uh, the biggest number, or, yeah, bigger number will come out later, uh, we only needed to worry about things like this, or in one direction, rather. Um, So now we're checking that, um, yeah, if if uh, the J element can be extended with the, by the I element. Uh, uh. Okay. <clears throat> and then now we have to reconstruct. Well, yeah, okay. So. Mm. Yeah. Oops. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. So just taking care of some edge cases, but otherwise, uh, and then now we have to reconstruct our way.
or someone like that. Uh, one real quick. Um, yeah. mm, that's not great. <laughs> but, all right, let me s also sort this away first. Yeah, actually, I guess it doesn't actually need to be sorted. But uh, hmm. okay, let's take a look at the longest thing. Hmm. Right, screw that up. Okay. The most is three, which is the zero one two. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, mm. that's weird. Oh, I need to do one more maybe, but uh, there's an off by one, that's why I know. But um also I need to append not most but numbers of most. Let's see how that goes. I mean, it's still off by one, but it should get you closer. Okay, two, four, there you go. Um, <coughs> uh, okay. Uh, and this actually uh, should not occur unless there are literally zero elements in input, uh, uh, because by default, uh, uh, you should get... Um, Uh, by default, you should get um, yeah uh, 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 at least one case where this is true if numbers is more than zero. Uh, so I was just double digging. Okay, so okay, that that looks good. I mean, I'm gonna sort it for fun, even though I think technically we don't need to. Uh, but okay, now let's try another couple of examples just in case. Um, speed up, okay. Hmm. Okay, let me just add a bunch of random numbers. I don't know what, yeah, it doesn't tell you how big, uh, 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 how big the way can be. I'm just gonna add a bunch little bit more and then maybe yeah 312 okay so I mean I'm gonna do a quick submit is there a slow submit I guess not but okay so except it so yeah um, <clears throat> I think for me uh, yeah so this is the medium problem largest divisible subset uh, I mean I kind of solved it in 34 lines um, I think this one's a little tricky. I think, um, uh, uh, I mean, the DAG portion actually is pretty good. Uh, I mean, in that, it, it's a reasonably good problem. Well, not a reasonably good problem, but it's reasonably reasonably standard uh, problem uh, that should be in your arsenal. Uh, for better or for worse, I don't know how much I agree with it as an interview question, but uh, but dynamic programming using DAG, that's, you know, this code is pretty standard. Uh, and you have to reconstruct the path, which is maybe a little bit less standard, but still doable with some practice. Um, I think the part that uh, get me a little bit uh, is that um, you have to know a little bit about number theory to kind of get this one, which is kind of, um, I mean, number theory is fun, and I actually enjoy playing around with number theory, not intent number theory, but like programming uh, uh, contest type of number theory from time to time. But uh, But these are things that like, uh, 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 unless you're doing cryptography or something like that, like I don't know uh, uh, if it's something that's obvious to people. If you know it, uh, and maybe you could reasonably for reasonable uh, uh, reason for it during an interview, but it still kind of feel like I don't know, just something that people don't think about normally or even you know read about. Uh, and I think the the key thing is noting that um, uh, the to be frank, the transitive property that I kind of. Uh, 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 skipped through a little bit. Uh, I, mean, I, I brought it up, and 
obviously I didn't even prove it or anything, which you can kind of do on your own time. Uh, but it's also something that like, uh, for me, I go into intuition slash practice over a long time, but I don't think that's a fair thing to kind of assume candidates uh, would either know or easily assume uh, reasonably through, right? Like, I mean, or like, it doesn't have good predictive power for me uh, in the sense that like a candidate might take two minutes and be like, oh yeah, I mean, you know, I play around with math a bit and and they may think that, uh, 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 they may get, get the transitive part, part of it very quickly or they may take, you know, 20 minutes doing something, uh, 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 point, like just not making an assumption and it, and it creates more work kind of for the interviewer to be like, maybe poke them in the right direction or maybe just give them a straight hint to be like, hey, this is a property that you should consider. But it's still like, but for me, if you have to do that, then it doesn't really have good predictive power. And I don't think, uh, unless, like I said, you're doing some security stuff or cryptography stuff or something like that, uh, it's reasonable to expect anyone to, uh, 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 you know, even come across it in a good way or even, you know, if you take algorithms 101 or whatever, whenever this gets taught nowadays, uh, like I don't think that, comes up that much or I could be wrong and leave some comments if I'm wrong but that's my feeling uh, but other than that in theory this is a good problem other than the the, uh, uh, the, the number theory part only because um, because I, uh, as an interviewer I do like taking uh, 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 a couple of kind of fundamental pieces and kind of uh, putting them together in maybe interesting ways uh, and just, so that like like you know, you don't want an, uh, a problem that has, um, you don't want a problem that has like, oh yeah, you need to know max flow or some, some like grad level uh, algorithm, uh, uh, you know, uh, just to prove that they know and know certain like almost trivia, right? I mean, you, and to some of that, you could uh, debate how, how, how far to take that analogy because to some people, even any algorithm is trivia, but that's, that's it besides the point, I guess. Uh, but uh, but in my mind, yeah, I, mean, I think other than maybe the stuff about the number theory, I think taking uh, a couple of uh, kind of uh, quote unquote off the shelf algorithms and kind of put them together, uh, those are the kind of problems I like to kind of uh, 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 challenge my interview interviewees uh, around. Um, yeah, so yeah, so I think I, in theory, I, I mean, I personally like this problem as a result. Uh, but I also wouldn't use this as an interviewer just because, I mean, I don't know. I, like I said, like I would never expect my interviewees to know number theory unless, I don't know, maybe if the role calls for it and it's very clear or maybe if you're in finance or something like that and they ask for very weird math things. But uh, I, yeah, so that's my opinion. Uh, but otherwise, it, I mean, otherwise, like, you know, I saw everything in 34 lines and I even probably was a little bit of both. So, uh, so yeah, so I think it's doable.